when you're in a dedicated hosting environment, you're paying for the servers whether they're being used or not. And the, or one of the great things about AWS is that you're just using it when, uh, when required. I'm Ian Gardner, I'm the CEO and founder of uh, Viacorp, and we're an online video platform. We've got a, a piece of software that we license to, to corporates or governments or businesses, uh, and it sits as a connector between content uh, on one side, which could be a, a movie or a CEO address, and viewers on the other, which, you know, and they might be on an iPhone, they might be on an Android device, they might be on a computer. If it's got a screen and an IP connection, we'll deliver to it. So we sit in between content and viewers. A few years ago, our, our CTO had been uh, kicking the tires, I guess, of, of, of AWS, and we'd been using it for you know small instances, fire up a server here, test a few things uh, on it. Uh, I couldn't believe how fast and easy it was when he showed me uh, how it was working. So I always liked the, the look of AWS and what it could do. Uh, but it wasn't really until we we you know thought about re-architecting the platform and moving into uh, everything onto it that we realised we we did have to make a choice. Uh, so that's been great. We're probably saving about 50% of the the, the the cost that we were spending with our previous dedicated uh, provider. But to be honest, it's not just the cost; it's the the scalability that's that's come with that uh, and the reliability. You know, and coupled in with that, there's there's three things that we, we, we talk about to, to our clients when we, we, we talk about why we move to, to, to AWS in the cloud. Uh, first one is scalability. We can land 100 customers overnight and not have to worry about whether we, you know, we've provisioned enough boxes, we've got the, the rack space and all that stuff. It's just there and it's available, which is terrific. Uh, the second one is flexibility. So when the developers need to, to support a new uh, device or a new piece of programming language, we can fire up a, a, an instance or whatever it is to, to be able to deal with that, which is terrific. Uh, and the final one is reliability. Uh, we're not reliant on you know old tape-based backups and hard drives that might fail uh, because we know it's all secure in the cloud with backups that, uh, that we can control. We are expanding internationally. Uh, so you know our first port of call beyond Australia is, is Asia. Uh, and you know for us, having an environment that we can instantly or easily replicate what we're doing here into new countries and new uh, regions is, is key. Uh, but also within the regions, we, we, you know, if we are quintupling or more the size of our customer base within that three to five years, uh, that's going to involve a lot of uh, infrastructure and hardware, which I don't particularly want to buy or manage. Uh, so I'm relying on AWS to do that. Um, so yeah, look, it's a pretty, you know, we don't have many key suppliers, but AWS is definitely one of them.